Another current libertarian issue has been the increased security protections at airports, the TSA. And I'm sure, I'm sure you've whole, heard all the stories. They make great news stories of, for example, the TSA agents popping open a man's colostomy bag and leaving him drenched in his own pee during the entire flight. They harass elderly people. They harass mothers with strollers. Handicapped people. But I'm sure you've heard all those stories. I would like to add that the increased security is ineffective. I really think that a determined organization could easily bypass the security if they put enough time and work into it. For example, when we had built the American missile nuclear defense Star Wars under Reagan. Boy, that defense spending. Uh, it, 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 even if it could ensure that we would block 99 out of 100 nukes, there was still the one that would get in, and that one was too much. So I think the point there is, even with the, the small amount of security before 9-11, we only got attacked successfully once. There were, other, there were other attempts, but they didn't work. But the point is, these groups were very, very, very small. Were. I'm not sure anymore, but there were not many attempts. There were not, there were not groups that were motivated enough to try to hijack our flights or attack us in such a way. But maybe we've started creating them. In reality, I don't think the increased security procedures are trying to keep out some false threat of terrorists or... I, I really think that they're, try they're trying to make us fear a terrorist attack. And that's really what justifies them on spending so much money in the Middle East on war and unprofitable activities. Or at the very least, activities that only benefit a very small group of special interests. Somehow, the public fears terrorists so much that they, they can support these wars. Can't, can't they realize that None, none of the, the majority of the people that are killed are collateral damage. Innocent lives that could have been used for something. Granted, there's a case for liberating women in the Middle East, but I think we can lead by example. The only reason the terrorists have power is because they're able to point at us in our imperialistic intervention ways, inve interventionist ways. And, and that's how they get their support. If we can just simply remove all the discrimination, there, there wouldn't possibly be any basis for people to join those groups. And that's really what needs to be taken away. There doesn't need to be increased security measures that are going to be bypassed. People are going to be so surprised the next time somebody gets through. And I'm not going to be.